Hello everyone. Welcome back to the garage here. I'm going to be doing a little bit of upgrading on my dad's Trailblazer SS. And in the past I did a few different things like uh, if you can see that there we did the Husky Liners Clear Protector. They don't make that anymore. But uh, other than that this thing's pretty stock eh? and it is amazingly clean because it only has 36,000 miles on it. Kind of jealous when I look at this and then I look at mine with 90,000. But either way, the plan here is to do some lighting upgrades. Today we have uh, some LED headlight bulbs, the uh, TG Creative uh, quad high beams there. And then TG Creative, um, this is the parking lights with the switchbacks and all that stuff basically makes it where it on. It uh, has like that white looking LED bar almost across. And then when you put on your blinkers, it switches to amber and fades back in and out to the white. Pretty cool. Grabbed one of these things. If you ever use one of these, this is the mirror cover. There's a really annoyingly bright passenger airbag warning on the rear view mirror on this car you stick that on and hides it i actually got it from corvette mods they didn't take my money and not send it so you got that going <laughs> and uh, we're going to do some of the trailblazer ss door sills that made all the rounds uh last year around this time and those are pretty easy to put on too so quick little video on this guy and uh just doing a couple little upgrades Nothing really done to this thing at all. It does have a Hotchkiss rear sway bar. It does have the deep transmission pan. Uh, we'll see cover action there, but it is pretty clean. Every option except the DVD player. You did do an interceptor gauge right there. It's funny, one of the differences on the 07 to my 08. 07 06, you get the chrome door handles. Mine are black. 07 did get the suede rear seats where 06 apparently didn't. Maybe due to some supply issues, I don't know. Very nice car though. And yeah, we're gonna be changing out the door sills there with those solid metal ones. Funny story about these wheels. Even though this thing is only one owner, never really seen winter, the wheels were okay condition when my dad picked it up. We found these wheels on eBay. Brand new GM parts in the box uh, for a really good deal. Like somebody mispriced them, didn't know what they were. And when I told him about them, when I found them, I honestly thought it was like, one wheel for that price and i said that's a little pricey but it is a brand new wheel if we want to have some spares laying around and then it turns out it was all four pretty crazy it's even funny though is these wheels have never seen snow they're pretty much brand new probably have ten thousand miles on them and they're still hazy like they don't have that mirror look like we get when we strip off the clear coat and all that but either way they're very very nice wheels all right, let's get this going. Well, there it is, grill is off. If you've never done one of these, it's a bunch of nerve wracking clips. Little metal clips that snap into the plastic on the headlights and then the grill surround, all that stuff. Now, the other interesting fact about this grill, uh, this side, if you look, you can see through. So that's the passenger side the driver's side is fake. You cannot. And the reason for that is this is supposed to feed fresh air into the air box there. So if you look here, it kind of has a rough path into there. Good, not great. I mean, it's, it's something. <laughs> uh, over here still has the same hole, but it doesn't go anywhere. A ram air effect, if you will, but... Yeah, so that's the little myth of the front. And then the other little air intake on the Trailblazer 
down here, these are functional, we'll say, but they don't go anywhere. They have a option or had that ran a duct system off of here to the front brakes. It's a GM accessory, and I've seen them come for sale like twice. And back when this car was current, I mean, you could have bought them all day long, left and right, and nobody really did. And it's kind of a bummer because now they're, I don't want to say worth a good buck, but they're definitely pretty cool and it'd be neat to have a set. But on mine, I do have the front transmission cooler there, so that would be impossible for brake cooling. This isn't going to be a true how-to, but I figure I'd give you some steps along the way. Grill comes out, top trim piece comes out, and then to get to the back of the lights, I mean, you can fish your hand back here if you're ever changing your bulbs, but for these LED switchbacks and all that, uh, it's easier just to take them out. These things right here lift up and down. It's kind of They kind of trap your headlights, like lock them down, but when you undo them, it kind of makes it all loose, so you can remove the headlights. These are original GM guys very nice shape for the age so here we go let's get this going one side at a time anytime you do these LED headlights there always seems to be some sort of little issue or you gotta kinda finagle it it doesn't fit like the stalker did our stock bulbs are pretty much that's it I mean tiny and then here is the LED setup, much bigger, and in this particular housing, that setup doesn't fit. That big ovally heat sink there, whatever you want to call that, that cooling area. Now these are fanless, so that could be part of it. And I know fanless isn't like new technology anymore, but um, these are, I think I bought these for my dad like a year or two ago. So I'm going to try a different set that doesn't have as big of a cooling back on it there and see but yeah this for this housing and the angle it goes and the trailblazer here it's definitely just it's hitting right right on there and I, I don't want to cut this out to make these headlights work and I don't really want to cut the headlight bulb either so order a new set and we'll see next move though I'm gonna try to now the low beam I'm sorry the high beam worked fine it's it's tight in there I'm good with that it definitely didn't fit as firm as these screwed into like these locked in pretty good this one didn't as well as I'd like but it seems okay now I'm gonna move on to the uh, the good old LED switchback parking lamp here these just twist out if I can do it with one hand here not really sure yeah there we go and you pull out this old guy and replace it with the new so there's that very quickly here with the headlight off you can actually see where the cold air is supposed to be fed in through the headlight to the air filter, which is that white and metal-y cylinder in there. Right in through there. So it does have, in a sense, a cold air intake from the factory. Legit cold air. Now, who knows how restrictive or unrestrictive it is, but uh, that's... That's it right there. In the Trailblazer SS, and I'm sure the higher end ones of the era were, this, were a uh, similar way. It has a dual pump here, one for the front, one for the back. And I found on one of mine that the lines actually, I mean, it makes sense. They run all the way through the cab, all the way to the back. And I had a leaky one. It was literally pouring washer fluid into the floorboard when I'd run the rear washer. And the other thing this car has, which some of the standard Trailblazers don't, is a level sensor, which I don't even think you can see it through this mess here, but my first Trailblazer, this was all broken and cracked, and somebody tried to patch it. It didn't work, so I tried to get a new bottle to hold my fluid in it. just didn't have all the provisions I needed, so I basically had to uh, drill a hole in it to put the level sensor, but interesting change over the years from Chevy on these trailblazers one of the other upgrades i'm doing here today it is a all four all six headlight fog light upgrade basically when you hit your high beams on the low beams and the fog lights kick off well what this does when you add this little bit of wire between the various 
posts on the relays, it allows all six lights to stay on at the same time. Pretty clever. So it's the high and low on each side, so that's two, four, and then the fog lights, which is six, and uh, you basically connect the pins on this, this, and this here, I believe that one there. And this is all from TG Creative. Good stuff, clever little add-ons, which I love. And that's in and done. We'll test it once we get it all back together. One other quick mod I'm doing here, if you're catching on, basically it seems like whenever I buy something from my Trailblazer, it's always a uh, opportunity to get something from my dad's as well that matches or is the same thing. Uh, the door sill upgrade. Now, factory, it's a very cheap piece of tin. I mean, it's very, maybe as thick as a couple layers of aluminum foil. These guys came in there about an eighth inch thick. They were, uh, I did a video on these. They, they were like straight through, like just laser cut out. And I filled them with a, a black epoxy. And then they just basically stick on. And I mean, if you look from like there, Pretty much looks like it's stock. I mean, you'd have to actually see the originals to notice the difference, and they're actually the same font, pretty much, and everything. But nice little upgrade for the Trailblazer. Those are from the uh, group as well on Facebook, TBSS Society. So definitely a nice little purchase, though, for the car. Cleans it up nice. Looks looks like it should have from the factory almost, doesn't it? So as you can see here, we're on the inside still. Hello. And that's the light we're focusing on. It says passenger airbag off. And what you do is you take this guy right here, install it over top of there, and you basically have a uh, little bit less of a bright light in your eyes as you're driving at night. Um, you know, it's not like a safety issue or anything. I mean, obviously it's off, and if somebody sits there, it switches to on. And it's, yeah, I believe, weight sensitive and all that. And there's no real way to kill that airbag over there. So it's just an indicator. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to put this on there. I'll show you afterwards here. And there we go. You can see it if you look like there. It's still on. But if you look head on from where about I see, nice and darked out. Now, what's interesting about these, I just learned this about the HHR. And I'm assuming the Trailblazer here is going to be the same way. The OnStar system will no longer work on these, and it's based on the cell phone network. They're phasing out, if I read it right, and I remember right, the 2G network, which is what OnStar connects to. Uh, it's not like satellite or anything. It's, uh, you know, through through a cell phone network. And uh, they, they, they're pushing you to switch to a app-based application or soft, whatever you want to call it. So basically, after a while, the way I gathered is these old, old cars, like, I mean, this car is from 2007, it will not work anymore coming up here in the next six months or so. So just a heads up on the OnStar, I don't even know anybody that uses it, though, honestly. So, but um, another little job done, and moving back on to the front here to finish these headlights. Still blown away when I look at that odometer. Now that it is on, though, you can see our interceptor gauge. This does have the multi-disc changer option, no navigation, automatic HVAC, and uh, the leather as well. And then one of the simple mods that is reversible, but we usually throw these on our cars, uh, the dash mat up here just to keep the sun off of it. Got the Valentine radar detector mount there, but all the upgrades on this car are just little, little add-ons, nothing... Nothing crazy that's not reversible. This does have the heated seats, uh, pretty well loaded. All right, so little camera change action, but I wanted to attempt to show you what this looks like when it's all done. So we have, like I said, the four LED headlights. Oof, that is bright. Not sure how that's gonna translate on the camera here, but super white, super bright. And we have the lower one there as well. And then the fog lights are on. So this is with everything running right there. All four are on. And that side bulb, the amber one, is looking a little funky on my phone screen here. But uh, that's just your normal. That's stock. So 
overall a really nice setup if you're looking to upgrade. I'll put some links below in this one, but I uh, figured I'd pull off here and uh, show you the nighttime view of all this. But I'm going to take this back to my dad and uh, take my Corvette home. Fun car, though, definitely. Kind of excited to start driving mine once it gets a little grosser out here. But that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions on these upgrades, please comment below. Subscribe for more on uh, Trailblazer stuff, Corvette, HHR, anything going on in the garage. We'll see you next time. Thank you.